All glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's the author and finisher of our faith, and without him, nothing is possible. Welcome to Faiths and Gates Ministries. Click that subscribe button. Click on the notification bells. Also, let's get the likes up to help get truth out there to the public. Thank you for your support. Let's get right to it. So, responding to your comments, uh, forgive me for those of you who've commented on the channel and I haven't been able to get to you yet. This is why I'm making this video to respond to your comments uh, about recent videos that I've done and some I've missed in the past. Uh, some comments about uh, Geno Jennings, uh, IUIC, LeBron James, and more. Okay. So the first person we have here, Adawaya Yasharala, uh, one of these Hebrew Israelite brothers. He says, just to be sure I got it correct, it is in fact Satan's plan to pull men and women out of sin and wickedness, drug abuse, drug dealing, so forth, stealing, murdering, adultery, so forth, uh, to devote life and family to studying and learning the truth. I'm guessing he's saying about the Bible. It's not forming proper sentences. And living a set apart life just to turn around and trick them into idolatry and man worship. That's a horrible plan and frankly absurd. He's, he's responding to the video I made about men keep trying to play God. And I'm guessing he's either a supporter of IUIC and Bishop Nathaniel or Pastor Dow. Or possibly both. I don't know. He didn't specify, but um, yes, it does make sense. <laughs> this is the problem. Satan is deceiving so many. And he's very crafty. And as I explained to this brother, the devil's very good at what he does. Okay, so yes. I, and I've said it myself. I've acknowledged some of the truths that Bishop Nathaniel has spoken. And even... Pastor Geno Jennings. Okay. But the devil, he doesn't care if you have 95% of the truth. It's just that little leaven that is sown in the message or omitted in a man's message. Okay. And that's all he needs to deceive many. That's why there's so many different denominations. I mean, the devil is a skilled supernatural assassin. Okay, as I as I stated before, he's on Lake Row. Okay, death row is a sentence that man created for a trial period before execution. Okay, Lake Row is eternity in the lake of fire. Satan knows he's going to the lake of fire. So the Bible called him the father of lies. Okay, so yes. Just some of the truths these guys speak is mixed with leaven. Okay, Pastor Dow saying you can have multiple wives. That's leaven. Okay, Bishop Nathaniel says there's hell on earth. There's no such thing as uh, uh, Satan or Lucifer who was cast out of heaven. These are these are these are these are heresies. Then him saying that makes him a heretic. Okay. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Saying that hell is here on earth and that Jesus, uh, uh, some, some of the Hebrew Israelites are saying that Jesus was the son of God, that he was not God. Okay. He was just the son of God. Okay. This, this, this is heresy. So, yeah, they, they have truth mixed with leaven. All right, so let's go down to the next guy. Uh, 
Mr. Eric Hall commenting on the video uh, why Geno Jennings refused to debate Bishop Nathan Yell. He says, Pastor Jennings won't waste his time on false prophets. That's not true. That's not, I don't know where you get your information from, dude. That's not true. At Pastor Jennings has debated the Nation of Islam, one of their representatives who got on stage and said that he's God. Okay, you can go back and look at the video. He he said that he's God in the flesh. Okay, Pastor Jennings has debated Mr. Vegas, a celebrity. Okay, who don't even believe in God. Okay, he's selective on who he debates because he he doesn't want to address certain topics, as I stated before. Pastor Jennings does not want to talk about who the true Hebrew Israelites are. And it's not only him. Okay, it's not only him. The only reason I talk, and, and look, I get this. I've been getting this from several people who've come to comment about this whole Geno Jennings subject. Uh, well, I, one, one person, I can't recall their name. I'm sure it's somewhere here in the comments said, I hope that you're not using him as clout uh, to get views. And listen, let me address that. Anyone who gets on YouTube and claims to be of the faith, the scriptures state to examine yourselves whether or not you be of the faith. Okay, and mark those who are not of the faith. Okay, Christ has commanded us to look deeply into what the broad gate is, what is the broad road. In order to discover the narrow road, you must see those who are going on the broad road. Okay, me, if I'm to just get up here and just talk about scriptures without giving you my personal testimony first and foremost which i've done on this channel okay without giving my personal personal testimony how god delivered me and then also using the experience not only staying on myself and just reading from the scriptures without giving context but looking into the the experiences and some of the other beliefs of, of, of other ministers, whether that be on YouTube or in, in the public forum, okay, uh, 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 other public forums, then I'm not giving you a complete gospel. If, that, if, I, if I see uh, thousands or millions going into a false doctrine, then I'm going to be held responsible to say something about that. Then when, when someone like Geno Jennings claims to speak the unadulterated word of God, he calls himself an apostle. Okay, an apostle cast out devils. They raise the dead. We are to take those titles seriously. Okay, he talks about, well, the Godhead three in one. Christ, Christ said, if you have seen me, you have seen my father. Well, well, the God, the scripture state, no man has seen God at any time. Are you real? Do you really want to go down that route into saying that Christ was not God? The, the man who, the, this is the problem the Pharisees had. The man that they were looking at him, they were looking at God. That's why he said, if you have seen me, you can only see the flesh. You can't see spirit. But Christ is going another level. He said, "When you, if you have seen me, you have also seen my father. Okay. He's, what else did he say? He said, I am in the father and the father is in me. It's a great mystery. Okay. So if I, if you can't, this is the problem. This is the problem. The platforms, people get so big. 
that now when you come and address when you come and address them, it's as if they're too big for you to speak to them, for you to correct them. And then he's a hypocrite as well, because although I do not agree with all the doctrine that Bishop Nathaniel teaches, Bishop Nathaniel, when it comes to who the true Hebrews are, he is on it with his scripture. And he's right about most of what he's talking about, except for the Gentiles can't be saved. They have to serve and go to the lake of fire. You can miss me with that. Okay, that's not, that's a whole nother subject. They will have to serve. He's right about that. But see, Geno Jennings, for whatever reason, does not talk about, I don't know if it's because uh, the federal government has really been on him, and it's the problem. We're coming too big. If someone like me don't expose this, then you get guys like one of these guys I'm going to mention a little bit later, who are just buying sheep. And they, they will come and verbally attack you. This guy came in a comment section verbally attacking me on his defense of Geno Jennings. Okay, they have no mind. It's, it's blind, the blind leading the blind. Okay? Now, I know I'm not going to get through even 10% of these comments um, in this one video. I may need to do a part two at least. Okay, but I got to move forward. Um, more on that later uh, because of many of these comments are in regards to uh, Geno Jennings and IUIC. Uh, Yazi Padrosa say, I'm glad I found your channel, brother. They love to clout chase in these different camps. Uh, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. God bless you. Dan Dog says, don't stop here, brother. Wisdom is foley. I, I don't know what he mean by that. Apostle Geno Jennings is not misleading people. Go watch his New Year's sermon. I'm not sure which sermon it is because he did like he did like three or four sermons, which was like three to four days in a row coming into 2023. OK, he can do a billion sermons. What is your point? Uh, what I'm trying to say is Deuteronomy 28 is coming to pass for the obedient and the disobedient. Get right now and go down in water in the name of the Lord. You see, in this baptism thing, okay, this baptism thing, I'm, I'm going to address that. I'm going to address that after that's something else he said. Uh, it, Geno Jennings is not misleading people. Look, that's why I'm, I try to remain unbiased on this channel. Many of the great things that Pastor Geno Jennings has preached, I've uploaded videos highlighting that. The very few channels, I, very few channels do you see doing this, okay? A lot of channels it, 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 that claim to be in the faith, once they start going left on, you know, pointing out some heresies, in another pastor's message, they 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 just remain there. They as if that person is just all the way false. Okay, I didn't say that. You, well, if you're false, you're false. Now, I don't want to, you know, mix anything up there. I don't want to have any misunderstandings. If you false, if you have a little leaven in your message, or some some of these false prophets. Say, well, we get it wrong sometime. No, if you're a prophet of God, you do not get prophecies wrong. Okay. Doctrine is the same. The doctrine is the same. If you claim to be a pastor of 35 plus years, but an apostle of 35 plus years, like Geno Jennings, 
You cannot be going around preaching some of the things that you preach, talking about the blood of Jesus. These are all issues that I, I've had. And I've documented that on this channel. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is, a, is, a, is an atonement for our sins. Demons don't like atonement for your sins. So when you plead the blood of Jesus, he, 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 the scriptures state in Revelation, they overcame that serpent by the blood of the lamb. Okay, in the Old Testament, which is a shadow of the New Testament, the blood was used on the doorposts for the Passover. So those plagues, which were demonic plagues, and pass over the children of Israel and Pharaoh and his house were getting hit by all of these plagues, but they because they were not covered under the blood. Okay, that's a, a former of the things to come in the New Testament again, a shadow or a former of the good things to come. Okay, the scriptures state by his stripes we are healed. And this man is preaching against this. And this is why he don't cast out devils. He don't do it because there's a form of godliness. But he's denying this. That's what the scriptures mean. He's denying the power thereof. Okay. The blood of Jesus does cast out devils. Okay. And now he's, he also mentions uh, go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Look, there's nothing wrong with baptism, but baptism does not save you. Okay, you have to understand that whenever you have to rely on some man to baptize you, that man is now in the process of your salvation. Men are not in the process of your salvation. That It does not uh, begin and conclude with any works of his hands, okay, or or any type of dilemma where the sick, those who are paralyzed, will have to wait in line at some man's church that, so that he can have baptism pit available. You see all of these things? Salvation is of the heart. <clears throat> It's, uh, it's always with you, okay? Salvation is always with you. Confession that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, that is with you. Repentance, that is with, it's all things that you as the individual can do, okay? Anything outward is a testament of things that were done in the previous covenants, okay? The Sabbath, the washings, the cleansings, all of these things, that, that, now I will say this, that where it becomes a heart issue is a fear of man. If you have a fear of what people will think of you getting baptized before, then now that becomes a heart issue. As Christ said, if you deny me before, before men, I'll deny you before my father who's in heaven. Okay? So all of this, will, will, Geno Jennings saying, we, we baptized 500 that done went down in water. These are all religious things. Okay? The scripture's referring about a baptism of conversion. Mainly. It's what it's speaking about. Okay? And I can say more about that, but let's get on to the next comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, more wisdom. More wisdom says, uh, believe it or not, there will be wealthy believers in heaven. It's not a sin. He's responding to the Myron Golden. Is Myron Golden the next Creflo dollar? It's not a sin to be wealthy. It's a sin to love money and serve money. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Yeah, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the... I'm glad you concluded it with that. 
Okay. Uh, when we look at the rich man and Lazarus, uh, and that story of the rich man and Lazarus, Abraham, who was a wealthy man, had a test of his faith. <laughs> Abraham is in paradise with Lazarus, who was a poor man on this earth. Okay, so they're on both ends of the spec opposite ends of the spectrum. But I find it very interesting that the first story of anyone being in hell, a human being being in hell, soul in hell, is talking about a rich man. Okay, Christ is serious about this. Because you saying it's not a sin to be wealthy, it's a sin to love money. Well, let's look at what First Timothy 6, 9 says. It says, even those who desire to be rich. Not that they some will not fall into temptation. No, again, it's universal. Those universal who desire to be rich fall into great temptation. Okay, you can't brush past that scripture. Matthew 6, 24, you cannot serve God and mammon. Okay. The Most High foresaw all of these things. James 5, verse 2, their riches are corrupted. They refuse to pay their laborers their wages. Okay. The riches are corrupted. Plural. Universal. Okay. Riches. Plural. Okay. They they've built the the and, and you'd be surprised here in the United States they build many things off of free labor they build institutions industries okay economies they build them off of free labor and they they don't give any retribution any type of recompense they don't uh, give any type of reparations okay and they expect to end their life and just pass down wealth to generation to generation and the most high don't work like that the scriptures say he cast their riches out of their belly meaning it's an evil affliction for them to die to, to have nothing and be cast into the lake of fire and on top of that so you going from zero to 100, I don't even know if the, how to express that, the dynamics of that, of how much they had going from that to now you don't, you're not even, you don't even have access to the basic necessities to sustain as a human being. And it's torment for eternity, no breathing, no more water for you. I mean, that's what Christ was trying to express to rich people, okay? So, yes, it, it literally means that. Go sell everything you own and give it to the poor. Now, the scripture does mention Joseph, who was a rich man. He, um, he was able to get the body of Christ, okay? He, he had some type of uh, standing in society so where the Roman government and the Jews permitted him after Christ was crucified they permitted him to get the body of Christ okay the scriptures does mention that he was a wealthy man okay but think about what he was doing <laughs> by by doing that yeah he was making some kind of stance for Christ and that was, you, you can make an argument that he was risking his life by doing something like that. He could have did what Peter did and just denied Christ. You see that? So although he, although he physically had money, okay, and this is where I was getting on Myron Golden for saying Jesus was rich, he had a treasury. You know, you're not giving the whole story, dude. You're a manipulator. You're a manipulator. And the Most High 
will cast you into the lake of fire. You need to play with his word, man. Christ died at the tender age of 33. And you're talking about he has he has some treasury. Judas came to steal the money back. Okay? What, he, and this is another hypocrite, Myron Golden. You're talking about time is greater than money. Okay, but if, to Christ, what is time? The time, if time is greater than money, Christ gave his life as a ransom for many at the tender age of 33. So what is it in his treasury? He didn't even have anywhere to lay his head. So what is it in his treasury that he's going to have that's going to match him, him giving his life at the tender age of 33 years old. If, and if he, what you, you look at the money, the value, because it buys you politicians, it buys you favor with the Roman government at that time. Okay. That's what we're looking at. Okay. The people who held prominence at that time, were the, were the main cohorts, the main executioners in, in, in his crucifixion. Okay? That's what I mean by these wolves and sheep clothing. I can say much more about that. But let me let me get on to the next comment. Uh, this guy, uh, more wisdom. Uh, you're wrong. Fasting, praying, and holiness is not a religion. Look, dude, you just come on here to argue. The, my point in saying that it's a religion, that's something that you do religiously is what I was getting at. Okay, that's something that you practice. And it says that in Galatians 5, 19 through 21, for the unrighteous deeds that are, pract that are practiced, he used that word practice. Christ also used that word practice you who practice lawlessness, okay? That the, the meaning you do that on a routine basis. Maybe if I substitute that R word, routine, for that R word, religious, maybe, okay, maybe that'll help you out. More wisdom, okay? It, it, it's, you fast religiously. You pray, that's what you practice. Praying, practice. That's what you practice. Okay? That's what I was saying. Uh, okay. Uh, but the DeMar Hamlin situation, uh, it said he's praying for DeMar Hamlin, praying for you, brother, Walter B. Taylor. Uh, and then this is the issue. There are a lot of them guys getting on TV talking about their praying, but they never say who they're praying to. Okay. There are so many things that was really suspicious about the whole DeMar Hamlin uh, situation. That number three kept pumping up. Uh, I believe he's a sixth round pick. Yeah, I believe he's a sixth round pick. He wears the number three. Uh, there was a photo taken of the people praying, the, uh, the football players on the field praying, and number 33 was standing up. I mean, a lot of things with that situation was real uh, suspect. I mean, what do you expect? They, they work in numerology. Uh, let's go on to... Uh, to the next comment here. Uh, a break to Zeke. I'm not going to even bother reading that. I'm not going to. Um, but this is the guy, Levi. I hope you're not using Geno Jennings' name to gain views. Like, f for me not to talk about Geno Jennings would actually be kind of. Um, I, I, I want to use these words properly, robbing people of a teaching moment or teaching moments, plural. 
if I just give you my perspective, my life experience, according to the word of God in this generation, just giving them the word of God. Well, actually, you are giving them the word of God by mocking those again who lead others astray, lead many astray. Okay, it'll be irresponsible of me to just give my my perspective, how God has delivered me, not talk about anything else on this channel, anything anyone else is doing to do that, because there are so many false prophets. Okay, there are so many heretics out here. Okay, so, and again, I'm not being biased where the things that, the good things that he do teach, I want to put things in their proper perspective so that those who may have gotten saved, I mean, some of these people may be sincere. The, the Geno Jennings said some things that pierced their heart, but, uh, but they need to read and study to show themselves approved and see that the scriptures state the gifts and callings of God are without re repentance. Okay? That gives you a three-dimensional perspective on the man. The word, the word of God, yeah, that gift will speak out through Pastor Geno Jennings. But we got to remember, we wrapped in flesh, okay? And that flesh also speaks out a lot. Okay, and that was why I was making the, the video, The Posture of Pride, okay? Uh, and that's what I was explaining to Brother Levi. Um, but God bless you, Brother. Uh, Stanley Jackson. Uh, the Satanic Disciples are trying their best to make Pastor Gino look bad, but it is not working. See, he's a good, another one of these cult followers. Okay, the, you have to be careful with man worship. You, fates and gates, now you call a real man a troll while you, I never called anyone a troll. The, while you are a floundering fool with no purpose. Uh, next comment. Uh, Sonia, all of his, all of his following do the same Jerk chicken kundalini dance. It's talking about Geno Jennings followers and angels, according to scripture, know how to appear as human. Thank you, Sonia. I, I, I meant to put this in the video. And thank you, Sonia, Sonia M, for reminding me. God bless you, sister. Uh, Hebrews 13.2. Those angels of destruction in Genesis 19 took, well, I believe she gives uh, reference to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2. And she goes on, those angels of destruction in Genesis 19 took on the form of humans. They sat down, ate, and drank with Lot. Now, can humans eat and drink without full bodily functions? Exactly. They have a digestive system if they can do that. If they could eat and drink, they could have sex too. That is where they left their first estate, their proper domain. Thank you, Sonia. Sonia M. That's why the scriptures emphasize that those angels left their first estate. You have to look, you, the, the, the great emphasis needs to be placed on what was their first estate. It's not talking about like here on earth, okay, your estate, your habitation is some type of real estate, some type of land, in some physical geographical region. It's not talking about that. It's taught the scriptures make reference to the body as a house. 
many, many times, many times, the scriptures say that Christ knocks on the doors, the door of our hearts. Okay. The, uh, it, it talks about an evil spirit being cast out of a man. It, it walks through dry places and say, I'll go back to the house. Okay, that body is a house. The body is the temple of God. You see that? And so the angels left their first estate, which was their heavenly body. Yeah, in, the, in, the, in the heavenly realms, there's neither male nor female, but they left that. They left that. that so they were no longer angels when they did that. But when they came in their earthly form, they were giants. They're there, and they produced their offspring as giants. So they weren't, they weren't even fitting properly. They were no longer in their first estate. But they, but they, were, they, were, men, they were men. And in the book of Enoch talks about this. He, 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 God, God's judgment was that they shall die like men. Okay, now some of those angels like Azahel, they, excuse me, they, they, are, they are in everlasting chains. Okay, some of them who were like the leaders who, who led that rebellion, they are in everlasting chains, but not all of them. That's how we get these evil spirits that are able to roam the earth. Satan it goes to and fro throughout the earth. So we know not all of them are in everlasting chains. But this is what Geno Jennings is teaching. Well, angels, angels don't get women pregnant. Men do. You know, just trying to be funny. But not but it, the reason why that's important is because now when you go into casting devils out, people have a more sinister perspective on or should I say a perspective on more sinister diabolical demonic beings that are more close to harming them when he preaches you see what I'm saying that type of falseness will send a person way off and then then see, uh, Sonia talk about the Kundalini dance. See, they they're doing the Kundalini dance because they're not taking it serious. They're not they they're not taking demons serious. You see what I'm saying? And this is a part of the leaven in his message. Okay, that's a big big problem because what did Christ deliver you from? What did he saving you from? Okay. Why did he have to shed his blood? Why is there so much emphasis on the blood of Jesus to the point where he said, you even, you even need to take communion in remembrance of his shed blood. Okay. Why? Why are these rituals so important? You think he's just doing it or commanding us to do it for nothing? No, the demonic plague when the angels corrupted the blood of men, God had to have a reparation for man's salvation. He had to put so many things in place, so many different commandments through the law of Moses. Through the law of Moses, they had to have a stoning system just to ward off that demonic plague into man's bloodline that was what what and i'm gonna get to what eve oh man <laughs> this video has already been 40 minutes almost i need to shorten this up but maybe in part two i'll get to the whole eve and the serpent and 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 what the serpent actually did to eve what satan did to eve the scriptures state that he who commits fornication sins against his own body. So before the serpent deceived Eve, before he deceived Eve, 
She did not have nine months of 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 pain and sorrow and inception. Okay, she did not have a monthly cycle. You see what I'm saying? So what was it that he did to her that that God cursed her with that that curse of fornication? That same curse of fornication came upon Eve. You see? So but I I, I don't want to go too far off into that. Um this is another one of these here's another one of these Geno Jennings cult followers. Jason Ashley. But Geno Jennings has more biblical authority in his pinky now than you have in your whole life. Like I'm not gonna even read all of this foolishness. God, I pray that God open your eyes and your ears, brother. You lost. You lost. The curse, curse be he who puts his trust in man. Yeah, you lost. You fought. You following cult leader. He, does, he doesn't give biblical understanding about bloodlines, the blood of Jesus, about who Christ is. Christ being God. Yes, he was even God as a man on this earth. He doesn't give, uh, he doesn't talk about or preach the truth of the Hebrews. Why is that important? That's that's very important because you're, you're omitting the accounts of sin. Okay? <laughs> you want the Gentiles to get saved. You preaching the gospel. You going into all the world, right? Okay, and you're not letting them know the accounts of their sin. We we have to suffer because of the sin of Adam. All men have to suffer for the sin of Adam. So you're being a hypocrite if you're teaching the sin of Adam, how men need to be redeemed and repent, but you're not giving the intricacies of uh, the Isaiah and the uh, Ezekiel uh, chapter 60 and in the Obadiah and the Joel's and the Deuteronomy 28. You're not giving the accounts of sin. Okay. The accounts of sin is speaking in prophecy about who the people are to this day. Okay. And what they need to do to repent that there, there are different repentance. That everyone don't have the same sin. When each man is drawn away, the scriptures say, he's drawn away by his own lust. Okay? Each man has his own desires. Each man's forefathers had their own desires and their own evil heart. Okay? So what are the intricacies? All right? Uh, let me answer some things about Kevin Durant here. Okay. And, and by the way, this is why I talk about sports sometimes on this channel, putting things in their perspective. Okay. Because our true Hebrew, the true Hebrews are fulfilling that scripture. Uh, Genesis 25. One nation will be stronger than the other. Again, looking at different accounts of experience in a whole nother area of, if you want to say folly, okay, because sports is folly, okay? But even the scriptures, we can relate to what's going on in sports, politics, what's going on in the music industry. Okay, we give reference to how the God of this world are over is over those industries. Okay, and then and many of those people who own those teams are Jewish. Okay, they're the synagogues of Satan. All right, but this guy here, that's that's why I do Bell's Leagues. Okay, Bell's Leagues, the whole nother segment. 
on because the many of these people who exalt the same way there are those who exalt who exalt Geno Jennings, there are people who make gods out of these celebrities. Okay, so I have to break things down on why things are the why 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 things are the way they are in the sports world. Okay, so this guy says, "Who in their right mind?" Well, he said, "Who is their t h e r e brother?" Form good sentences. Who is their right mind says KD is overrated? Well, Kevin Durant. And, and since I made that video, he's he's injured. Okay, availability means a whole lot. The the, the body makeup means a whole lot. Okay, how that player is built. Okay, every there's there's so many guys averaging thirty points per game in the NBA today. The game is going soft. Okay. And I explain in that video how Kevin Durant loses his dribble a lot sometimes under smaller defenders. And he doesn't have that athletic explosion, that athletic grace that Kobe and Jordan had. Okay. And he may need that to win a championship. He's not a lockdown defender. He's no slouch on defense, but he's not. He may need to be a lockdown defender for the Brooklyn Nets to win an NBA championship. When he was on Golden State, he didn't have to be those things. All he had to do was be a great mid-range shooter. <laughs> really, that's what that's what he was. Okay, he's never led the league in steals. He's not he's a, actually a below average rebounder for his size. Okay, he's an okay passer. Okay, the only thing he does great is shoot mid-range jump shots. So, uh, Brother Cho, but that's what I meant when I was saying he's overrated. Okay, this next comment is what I wanted to get to, and I'll make this the last one for, we'll just call this part one, uh, responding to your comments. Okay. Isabel Small says, so if it's like you say, then Adam had sex with Satan too. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she understood what I was. I don't know if she didn't watch the whole video or what. No, she had to watch the part where I talked about that because she commented on uh, Adam have a sex with Eve, meaning she she watched when I said Eve had to have had sex with the serpent. Uh, Isabel Small, Adam doesn't have a menstrual cycle. Uh, Adam and men who descended from Adam, or all men, do not have uh, pregnancy. Okay, I know there are some who try to be women and demand that they be called Mrs. or Miss in the workplace environment and public settings, but they can never be a woman. Okay, so Adam having sex with the serpent never took place. Adam's disobedience against the Most High, there was a different curse for him. That in sweat, that's why men have to work hard. Men are the ones who have to produce. Okay, his labor and toil of the ground. It started with Adam having to till the ground. That's going to be in him having to till the ground. Him having to work hard to produce. 
That's the curse against Adam. Okay? This curse for disobeying the Most High. Okay? This isn't a, the tit-for-tat thing. It's the problem with many feminists. I'm not saying that you're a feminist, Isabel, but uh, whatever happens to Adam, Adam was created first. Okay? Adam was created directly from the hand of God. The Eve was taken from Adam's rib. Okay, and Eve also had a desire. Okay, she had a desire. So she was already the weaker vessel when God created them. So Adam's fall from grace was not as steep of a fall as Eve's because Adam was already in a position of strength. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there though. And I'm going to have to do a part two. I, I realize I got through quite a few comments. So I give God glory for that. But uh, let me know you guys thoughts. Uh, to help support truth, again, share share these videos. Okay, uh, continue to share your thoughts with me. I'm I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say. Um, like the video. Let's get those likes up. And also click that subscribe button. And May God be with you guys and enjoy the rest of your day.